Okay team, let's talk about PEMDAS with fractions. So how does our order of operations uh, change the way we solve these problems or we, we uh, evaluate these problems? So what do these things equal to? Okay, now we've got minuses, we've got multiplication, we've got over here, we've got divide, and we've got uh, multiplication. Okay, so remember we're going to follow our PEMDAS, which is parentheses, exponent, multiply, divide, add, subtract, right? Other than that, we're going to work it from left to right. So if these don't take precedence, like over here, we have a multiply and a, di and a divide, and they kind of have the same order of operations, so we're just going to work it from left to right. But over here, we definitely have an order of operations problem, don't we? Okay. So step one for this one is we're going to do this part here, which is multiply, which comes before uh, add subtract, right? So we're going to evaluate this portion here only. So three-fifths, I'm not going to change that part, minus what does that turn into? Remember, we multiply the tops and the bottoms together, okay? So three-halves times five-sixths turns into three times five is 15, and two times six is 12, okay? Now, right away, one of the things I can do to make this a little bit easier is, is I, that, that'll reduce, won't it, okay? So that becomes three-fifths minus, how do you reduce that? Well, you know what? A three will go into that guy, and a three will go into that guy, and leave me with what? How many times does three go into 15? Five times. How many times does three go into 12? Four times, okay? And so now I'm left with three-fifths minus five-fourths, okay? So how do you do that? Well, you got to have a common denominator. So what's the common denominator between 5 and 4? Well, it's 20. It's going to be the, the, the least common multiple, right? The LCM. So to get him to 20, I have to multiply him by 4, right? So 3 fifths times 4 over 4 minus, what do I have to get? To get him to 20, what do I have to do? Times a 5, right? So minus 5 fourths times five over five. And again, that's just one. That's just one. So it doesn't change anything. So this becomes 12, right? Multiply, 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 multiply. 12 over 20 minus 25 over 20. Okay. And so the bottom is going to remain 20. And what is 12 minus 25? Minus 13, isn't it? And that, my friends, is the answer. Okay, do you see how we do that? Order of operations. So this guy we had to do first, then do our least common multiple, and come back and get this guy. Let's see what happens over here on this guy. Okay, now I'm going to do these ones. I'm just going to go left to right, right? Because I have a, a divide here and a multiply here, and they have the same... Uh, precedence in the order of operation. They're in the same uh, uh, magnitude. So let's just say this. Well, how do I divide by a fraction? It's this, I could get rid of this divide, couldn't I? And I could do this. Minus one-third times, um, if divide by a fraction is the same as multiply by the reciprocal, right? So minus three-fourths, right? I just flipped that over. And then times negative 5 over 12. Okay, now I have three negatives here, don't I? So a negative times a negative gives me a what? A positive. And then I multiply that positive one more time by another negative. That gives me a negative again. So I'm going to have a negative answer. And just like we did over here, we multiply the top and the bottom together. I'm going to do this. Times, 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 times. Right? And you can make one big long line out of that, right? So on the top, on the top, I'm going to have 1 times 3 times 5. That's 15. And then on the bottom, I'm going to have 3 times 4, which is 12, times 12 more. That's 144, isn't it? Okay? And will that reduce? I don't know. I've never seen that fraction before. Does 15 divide by 3? You know, 1 plus 5 is 6, and 6 is divisible by 3, isn't it? What's 4 plus 4 plus 1? 4 plus 4 is 8, and 1 more is 9. Is 9 divisible by 3? Yes. 
So this whole thing is divisible by three, isn't it? So the top will become a five. 15 divided by three is five. And what is 144 divided by three? Three will go into 14 four times. That's 12, leaving a remainder of two. Bring down the four. Three goes into 24 eight times. And so that turns into 548. So that won't reduce any more, will it? Okay? So I always when I see a divide, I'm thinking multiply by the reciprocal, right? Flip it over. And then it's just a big old multiplication problem. Easy squeezy, right? Okay, we'll see you next time.